It's a privilege, not a right. It crosses our hearts and unites us all. And now, more than ever, it's time to don the sash. What a uh, big win over Carlton for the 100th game. It must be a pretty pleasing way to celebrate. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it was funny going into the game. I was a bit nervous, and, you know, you sort of, how am I going to play? But then I sort of went back to just, if I just play how I normally play, um, it'll, it'll come off. And, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good win, and the boys played really well. A few touches for you out there tonight as well. I think you got about 27 or 28 in the end. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, some blokes are saying I brought my own ball, but um, <laughs> no, nah, it was just it was, it was a good team game, and um, you know that's that's how we want to play. Where some blokes will have more more possessions one week, and then other blokes have the possessions um, the week after. So yeah, it was just a good team game all around. Across the field, it felt like everyone really was involved in the game, and there wasn't really anyone that wasn't wasn't involved in the game. Did it feel like that out there? Did it feel like you're all sort of getting around each other? Yeah, I think we work really hard on just uh, making sure that you know we got more players around the ball that that are Essendon and um, not not working too far forward, and just making sure we got good um, good method around the ball and things like that. So. Uh, it, yeah, and it, it made the game a lot easier to play when you know you've got some coverage with a with a backman behind you. So the, the forward structure seemed to work really well tonight. Do you think that sort of comes back to the defensive side of the game and how well we are playing defensively as a unit? Yeah, we we brought players down there like um, Brendan who can who can compete one on one and um, win win their own ball. And every time it went down there, we thought we were a chance of marking it, which which is important. And then also, you know, you've got Jason Winderlich, who, who's a fantastic one on one player, who we get the ball in there and he'll mark it every time. So uh, the dynamics of the forward line were, have been really good um, in the last week and a half, uh, last couple of weeks. So uh, we're just excited to maybe get some more some more scores out of them. Jackson Merritt had plenty of the ball tonight. Is, is that sort of a sign of where he's he's going as a footballer? I think he had more than 30 touches, so he's sort of moved into the midfield this year. Yeah, I think his development has um, come a long way in the last you know two years. So uh, it's a credit to him. He's uh, he works hard and um, you know his pace out there gets him a lot of the ball and uh, yeah, 30 over 30 touches a good effort and um, he you know contributed to the team winning. Uh, Fremantle next week, that's where the attention now turns. It must be really exciting to come up against another really top top quality side. Yeah, and we know probably Fremantle will come out pretty hard after uh, Friday night's game. So uh, we we have to really take take this this win, um, you know, build on it and uh, see where we you know what we did well and then take that to Fremantle. So uh, it's going to be a good game, I think. Well done tonight. No worries. Thank you. Cheers.